I've been investigating automotive after treatment for 12 years and in my PhD work and, and two U.S. national labs before coming to Texas A&M. And my lab here, the Combustion and Reaction Characterization Lab, is a continuation of that work. We investigate diesel particulate filters, diesel oxidation catalysts, lean NOx traps, all the types of catalytic converters that could be used on a car or heavy duty truck. The exciting thing about doing research with graduate students is you really are training someone how to approach a problem completely. How to think through what to do in order to measure what you're after. In my research we've had issues with thermocouples. So the thermocouple that's that's measuring the temperature of our sample wasn't reading correctly and I couldn't figure out why and I didn't understand the, the whole setup of the thermocouple and the VI and the and our system, how it works. So Professor Suzella came in and she taught me how to troubleshoot. And that's important in engineering because if something's not working, then, then, you're, then you're at a standstill. You need to be able to move forward so then you can actually get your data. I'm a professor in the mechanical engineering department at Texas A&M but I'm also a member of the Texas A&M Transportation Institute research staff, and we have a great relationship with them to use the dynamometer and the PEMS testing in our research. So students actually can come out here and use the dyno and do the PEMS testing to see what real-world emissions testing looks like.